Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the innervations of the pectoral muscles. If you want to do some push-ups, you got to get some signals going to those pectoral muscles, and we need nerves to do that, motor nerves uh, to do that. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. So let's get right into it. The first pectoral muscle that we're going to look at is pectoralis major, and you can see it over here at the left. You can see it's a relatively large muscle, and that gets innervated by two nerves. The first one that it's going to get innervated by is called the lateral pectoral nerve, which makes sense. You have the lateral pectoral nerve coming off the lateral cord of the brachial plexus, and then it's also going to get innervated by the medial pectoral nerve, which you can see here coming off that medial cord. So pectoralis major is going to get innervated by the lateral pectoral nerve and the medial pectoral nerve, which makes sense just based on the name. We're going to have a lateral and a medial, but they're both pectoral nerves coming off of the respective cords. Then we have pectoralis minor, which you can see here in the picture at the left. And that one is actually going to get innervated by only one of the pectoral nerves. And the one that wins for that guy is the medial pectoral nerve. Now, this is how I remember it. There's the lateral pectoral nerve and there's the medial pectoral nerve. Lateral is going to do less and medial is going to do more. So we have the L for lateral, the L for less, the M for medial, and the M for more. So the medial pectoral nerve is the one that's doing more work. It's giving innervation, it's providing innervation to both pectoralis minor and pectoralis major. So lateral is less, medial is more, and that's a quick and easy way to remember that. Then we have subclavius. Now this is probably one of the easiest ones to remember because we have a nerve that's called the nerve to subclavius. And you can see that right here. And that nerve is coming off of the superior trunk of the brachial plexus. And just as a reminder, if any of these brachial plexus nerves uh, sound strange or you're not exactly sure how this all comes together, uh, make sure to go back and check out my video on the brachial plexus uh, where I show you exactly how to draw this entire thing and you learn all the nerves very quickly. So the nerve to subclavius is the one that's innervating the subclavius muscle. It comes directly off of the superior trunk of the brachial plexus. And lastly, we have serratus anterior, which is this muscle that you see here on the guy over here to the left. And that one, the way I remember the nerve that innervates serratus anterior, this is the one that tastes good. All right, this is the one where we use salt. S A L T. Serratus anterior gets innervated by the long thoracic nerve. And you can come over here and see that the long thoracic nerve is this nerve that extends uh, down um, coming from the C5, C6, and C7 roots. And the way to rem I remember that is C567, raise your wings up to heaven. C567, raise your wings up to heaven. In order to fly, in order to raise your wings up to heaven, you have to have upward rotation of the scapula. That happens uh, with the help of serratus anterior, which now we know long thoracic nerve coming from C567, raise your wings up to heaven. Makes sense, right? So you can imagine um, flying up to the heavens and when you reach up there, eating some salt. <laughs> Maybe that's going to help you uh, remember it. But very simple, very easy to remember. So let's review, quiz ourselves. We have pectoralis major. That gets innervated by the lateral and medial pectoral nerves, the lateral pectoral nerve from the lateral cord and the medial pectoral nerve from the medial cord. Then there's pectoralis minor, which gets innervated by only the medial pectoral nerve. We have 
subclavius muscle, which gets innervated by the nerve to subclavius. And lastly, we have the salt one, the one that tastes good, serratus anterior, innervated by the long thoracic nerve. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you're enjoying the videos, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to click on the like button right below if you're on YouTube. And you can subscribe by clicking on the button right above that says subscribe. But most of all, make sure to check out the website at interactive-biology.com for more biology videos and other resources to help make biology fun. This is Leslie Samuel. That's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.